What's up, y'all? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte, and I'm about to shoot straight from the dome on the Clone Wars because I keep seeing that people seem to be of the opinion that the Clone Wars has saved Star Wars, and I don't share that opinion. I don't think the Clone Wars has saved Star Wars. They saved the Clone Wars, meaning... Dave Filoni managed to save his ideas and complete the Clone Wars on the Disney digital streaming service. But this announcement about the Clone Wars on the 10 year anniversary of the Clone Wars, it hadn't saved Star Wars. Right. So um, this uh, this chick Wakandan Sith Witch Supreme at Southern Cynic. Y'all should follow her on Twitter. It's a lot of people following her. Uh, I don't, we're not friends, I don't know her, but it's a whole lot of people, you know, in the Star Wars community who follow her and are interested in her opinions, right? So she sent out this tweet and I posted it on the Facebook, on the Urban Acolyte TV Facebook uh, uh, wall or page or whatever the fuck you call it. And uh, man, some people just completely shit the bed like, this is the best thing that ever happened since 2013. They saved Star Wars. And I'm like, man, you need to pull your head out of your ass for real. Like you're on some dumb shit right now. So her tweet reads the argument that the Clone Wars is back to save. And she you put that in quotes to save Star Wars from the chic sinking ship it's on. Y'all are some obtuse motherfuckers who let y'all have YouTube or a platform of any kind. That's what I'd like to know. I don't know what it's like to be will to willfully be that ignorant. Like that show wasn't in production long before The Last Jedi. Are you daft? Are you just shouting because you can without? Damn it, I can't read today. Like that show wasn't in production long before The Last Jedi. Are you daft or are you just shouting because you can without any regard for how dumb you sound because you have an audience and you don't really believe what you're saying? I'm opting for the latter. All of this is to say that y'all get on my damn nerves and I wish YouTube would do a better job of allowing me to filter out the noise and the nonsense. Like y'all figured out how to monetize being contrary. So she's kind of taking shots at Star Wars channels. The ones who have been uh, pushing that, you know, this narrative that the Clone Wars has saved Star Wars. The Star Wars is on a sinking ship. You know, she's talking about Actually, I don't know who she's talking about because I don't even watch any of those motherfuckers. Now, I did. I mean, I wasn't really offended, but I thought it was kind of messed up that she was like, you know, she kind of said the only good Star Wars channels out there. Hello, Greedo and Star Wars Explained. I mean, you know, she's got the right to feel that way. Somebody else agreed with her. But I'm like, you know, you can't really say these are the only good channels if you don't know all of the channels out there. Like, I don't know her. She, she doesn't know me. And, uh, maybe, you know, I'm saying, hey, uh, Wakandan Sith Witch, you don't have to like my channel. Maybe you know that I'm out here doing this. You know, I'm not going to take offense to it. But to lump me in with these uh, these obtuse motherfuckers on YouTube that you're talking about, I, I see I share your opinion, right? I mean, uh, I think that people in general are intellectually dishonest. People see what they want to see. That's one of the reasons why I'm always talking, you know, like some people tried to talk shit, throw shade. Ooh, I'm really upset about it. Uh, when I said, look, man, if some of these people didn't like The Last Jedi, maybe they need to meditate. And I'm seeing, well, Prince will say if you don't like The Last Jedi, it's because you need to go meditate and, and you need to go do some Kung Fu. And I'm like, well, OK, you're saying all of that. You're just proving my point. How do you how do you know how do you know that you might appreciate it or, or, or might under have a deeper insight or understand it better unless you do that? And you know what? I have a friend, one of my Kung Fu brothers. He does all the same practices I do. And he didn't like the movie. And we we didn't have an argument over it. We didn't have a big falling out or anything. He just said, I didn't like it. But you know what? He didn't like The Force Awakens either. He just doesn't really like Star Wars. He liked Rogue One. And he said Han Solo is the best out of all the new movies. I respect his opinion. I, was, I, I said, well, why do you feel that way? He told me. And I, it just let me know 
hey man, he just wants to see action and a story that makes sense. He doesn't really care about all the Jedi bullshit. And it might be because we really bought that life and all Star Wars is gonna do is fuck it up, right? But um, on, on this, this thing where I said people see what they wanna see, they, they, they interpret things how they wanna interpret them. I wanna tell you guys a quick story about what happened at my real job, because uh, if you guys think that Urban Acolyte TV and talking about Star Wars is my real job, well, you are sadly mistaken. I have a real job, have always had jobs while I've run this channel. This is just a great paying hobby. But anyway, we were we were sitting around talking about this case right in the case we learned that uh these two kids they were like six and two their their uh their uh, cousin was supposed to have been watching them right so cousin is passed out on the couch he's an adult he's like 25 26 the kids try to wake up the cousin to because they're hungry he won't wake up so they decide well we're gonna go and try to make ramen noodles so they put the noodles in the microwave. They have to stand on a footstool, the six year old and the microwave is one of those deals where it sits over the oven. So it's up high. So he has to climb on top of the, 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 the oven to open the microwave to put the noodles in. And he's still too short to reach. Right. His little brothers, too. Right. So when the noodles are done, he didn't know he put them in for like 10 minutes. Right. Because that was the only thing he knew how to do. We pressed one zero start and it cooked them for 10 minutes. Right. So these noodles, he's trying to get them out. He doesn't know anything about, oh, you're not supposed to touch a hot bowl with with hot ramen noodles. And he ends up spilling the, the hot noodles on his little brother's leg. Little brother gets a second degree burn. He's screaming. The neighbors hear him. They call it. They call a 911 because they're hearing his kids screaming bloody murder. Uncle still or uncle. Cousins still sleep on the couch, right? So we're going through this case and oh, we find out the mom is not there, but we find out mom is, mom has some alcohol issues. Mom may have, may have uh, uh, liked to partake in some little nose candy at one point in time, right? So as we're discussing the case, then two of the, two of my colleagues are like, oh, it's drugs on the mom. We gotta, let's talk about the drugs and mom's drug use and she's at fault. And it's like, well, that's what you're looking at. You want to blame mom, but mom wasn't there when it happened. How do we know that mom wasn't at an AA meeting or an NA meeting when this happened, right? And I'm telling you this because people went in with a certain point of view and they tried to shape the narrative to fit that point of view. And so we go back to the principle. Well, well, Fuck, Prince, you always telling us this story in real life, and we don't care about real life. We only care about Star Wars. We only care about Star Wars, Prince. We don't care about real life. That's why we like Freaks and Fuck Boys channel. We like to listen to Jeremy. We can't stand you, Prince. Ah. <laughs> Somebody's having a meltdown, <laughs> dumb motherfucker. Um, so my point is with that story, like I said, people came in with a certain point of view and then they tried to shape the narrative to fit that point of view. Star Wars sucks. Star Wars is on a sinking ship. And oh, they finally listened to the fans and they gave us the Clone Wars. Now, now look, look, man, that is bullshit. That is a bullshit way of thinking. <laughs> How long do you think it takes for them to produce, to come up with the idea for 12 episodes to have 12 episodes in some phase of production, to have this teaser trailer ready to go, to start talking about in advance, oh, we're going to San Diego Comic-Con and we're gonna do, the t it's the 10 year anniversary of the Clone Wars. Like the minute they were, it's the 10 year anniversary of the Clone Wars and we're going to Comic-Con, I knew, hey man, there's something special coming about, coming out about the Clone Wars. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a new box edition, but something is going down. If they're doing, if they're putting all this effort because they can't just go to San Diego Comic-Con just to talk about these new books, which is something else I want to talk about, I guess in another Off the Dome uh, episode, right? About Claudia Gray doing that Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan book, which I think is going to be awesome, especially if you know, if you've read 
or her short story about Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan in a, from a certain point of view, you know, where we learned that Qui-Gon was having a conversation with Obi-Wan right before we first see him in A New Hope, right? But, you know, they can't just go to Comic-Con and all they're gonna talk about is books. Cause there's a bunch of you motherfuckers listening right now who will never read the books. Now, if you're one of those people, you know, if you're the ideal person on my channel, you're over 30, you're probably uh, juggling a martial arts practice and going to the gym. You might have a wife, you got a job. Hey man, that's cool. You don't really have time to read. I got a job too. I, I, I'm My job's trying to send me back to school to get my master's in what I actually do uh, at my at my job. I'm not gonna have a lot of time to read these books and I'm behind as it is already. Cause if you follow Golden Bell Train and follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm getting geared up to start teaching kettlebells and start teaching Kung Fu in the fall, right? So I'm busy, man. So I can understand, we don't have time to read the books, but some of you motherfuckers, you know, y'all just play video games and, and, and talk shit about Star Wars and you still don't read the books. And it's like, hey man, you need to put down the, the controller, stop, you know, jacking off whatever the fuck you do and, and, and enlighten your mind, right? Even if all you're doing is reading Star Wars, some of this shit is good and it might make you sound like you, you might bitch less if you spend more time understanding what actually is canon and understanding the story before you hop on your on your dick handles and, and, and start typing away and shit on, online, right? But anyway, my point is, is that this whole thing with the Clone Wars, I would say they've been working on it at least a year, at least a year, which takes us back to last summer, before The Last Jedi came out, before Solo, when nobody was talking about their boycott in Star Wars, except for the little uh, pansy ass uh, bring back the EU people, right? Nobody was talking about this shit. Everybody was, was balls deep in their predictions and Snoke predictions and Rey as a Skywalker, right? Until The Last Jedi didn't fit the narrative that you, the false narrative that you had created, right? All these people weren't, weren't in their feelings and salty, right? They didn't have anything to talk about, right? They had a lightsaber. They had a lightsaber so, so far down the throat, so far up the ass, the hating on Star Wars wasn't really a thing that was that wasn't even really a thing right so it, it just gets back to my whole point that people create false narratives and then they try to shape they, they 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 go in with this certain point of view and then they try to shape the narrative to fit that point of view the clone wars is not saving star wars the star wars isn't in need of saving now if you feel like star wars sucks if if you one of those people to said this is the best decision they made since 2013 look man you need to find a new hobby you need to find something else right because i mean honestly if you've been sitting around mad and salty about star wars but you still following it look man you sound like a cake daddy ass motherfucker who got cheated on by your girl she left you and then since 2013, what is this, 2018? And you're not even gonna get to see the Clone Wars until 2019. So in the summer of 2018, she said, you know what? I think I'm tired of, of trying out every Louisville slugger that I can get my hands on. I'm coming back to you next year, baby. I'm coming home to you, baby. And here your sucker, sucker ass is waiting with open ass arms. And you sound like a weak ass little bitch, right? Now I know, it's some it's going to be a hundred of y'all motherfuckers is going to unsubscribe just because I said what I said. And you know what? If you can't deal with reality, if you can't deal with me and how I'm really talking to you. <laughs> hop the fuck on off. <laughs> I'm not going to miss you anyway. Right. <laughs> I'm just being honest, man, because this is how I would talk to you. If we were standing here and you start crying about all this shit, I would say, look, man, you sound like a bitch get away from me like I, I i i can't be i can't be in the vicinity of this bitch assness this is a no bitch ass zone and you are violating the sanctity of this space so if you can't deal with it bitch be gone and with that that's all i really got to say now some of y'all know you know I, I'm, I'm talking but i'm talking right i'm talking but you know this is this is this is elbow this this is how we chat right this is it, it, this is how I talk with my boys, right? 
And if you can't deal with it, then, you know, why are you here? Why, why do you, why, you know, this is a community I'm trying to build. And I don't want people in the community who can't deal with this, right? Right? I mean, this is how I would talk if we were working out. We were doing a kettlebell workout. If we've been training Kung Fu and we're taking a break, this is exactly what I'd say. Ask any motherfucker that I hang out with, they will say, this is Prince. The dude will drop some insight on you, some deep meditative shit, some Jedi sounding shit, and then the next minute he's gonna remind you that he was in the fucking Navy, that he's a fucking sailor. Who fucking y'all? And with that, I'm out. <laughs>